smoking. Do you smoke? I've never known that. When did you start smoking? I started smoking when I was 18. So, how long have you been a smoker? I've smoked for 20 years. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day? I smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. Have you ever tried to quit? Yes, I have quit twice. Once when I was expecting my baby, Paul, and the other time when I had a bad sore throat. But I had a hard time. If you knew what it was doing to your lungs, you would think twice about it. A date. Two. Hello? Sandy? Is that you? Yes, uh huh. Who's this? It's Gil. Gil? Gil who? What do you mean, Gil who? Gil Dixon, of course. Oh, Gil. I'm sorry. Yes, we had a date last night. Where were you? I waited for one hour. Oh, I'm sorry, Gil. I couldn't come. Couldn't come? Why not? Well, I had to pack my stuff for my trip. Why didn't you call me? I wanted to call you, but, um, I couldn't remember your phone number. And now I'm going to forget yours. A new job. Mr. Adams, have you seen this ad in the recruit news? Yes, I saw it. But I'm not interested in finding a new job. I've been here since I graduated from my university. I like working here. Really? I've only been here one year, and I'm already tired of doing the same thing every day. I'm afraid of getting really bored. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Wherever you work, you have to do the same thing every day to a certain degree. Well, what's more, I've been working about 10 hours a day since last month. But you've been getting paid more money for it, haven't you? Yes, but I'm not interested in making more money. I'm going to apply for another job. What kind of job? A secretarial job. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. An interesting movie. I thought that movie was terrific, didn't you? I don't know. It didn't seem to have any meaning. Come on. It seems that you expect intellectual stimulation from every movie. I just think that a good movie should have a central theme, at least. Yes, but it doesn't hurt you to watch a funny movie once in a while. Relax and enjoy it. You're right. I'm too serious sometimes. Ready to go. Are you ready? Grace is still in her room. She needs to rush. We don't have enough time. What time does the movie begin? It starts at 7 30. What's the time now? About 7 10. There's no hurry. It only takes 10 minutes by car to get there. I know, but there aren't enough parking spaces around the theater. Well, I'd better tell Grace to hurry up. She can take hours to get ready. Making a reservation. Can I get some tickets for plays? Yes. Is there a specific play that you want to see? What plays are on tonight? Cats. But it's sold out. Are there any seats left for tomorrow night? Yes. How many tickets do you want? Two, please. Where would you like to sit? I'm not sure. Well, here's a seating plan of the concert hall. How much、uh, is it in the middle section? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? That's a little too expensive for us. How much is it in the back? Thirty-five dollars. That's fine. What time does the play start? At seven o'clock. What time will the play be over? At nine thirty. Buying a present in a toy shop. Good morning. Perhaps you can advise me. Yes, ma'am. I'm looking for a toy for my niece. Oh, yes.、Uh, how old is she? She'll be seven years old on Sunday. Skateboards are still very popular.、Mm, I don't want her to hurt herself. What about a Barbie doll set? I don't think so. She has many Barbie dolls. Have you got anything educational? You see, she's a very intelligent girl. I've got the perfect thing a do it yourself kit where you can build your own Barbie doll who rides a skateboard. Buying a present in a jeweler's shop. I'm trying to find a wedding anniversary present for my wife. Yes, sir. What exactly are you looking for? I'm not sure, really. Perhaps you can help me. Right. I'll show you some pendants. No, I bought a pendant for her birthday. Maybe a necklace then.
These necklaces are made of gold. Yes, I like this one. What's the stone? It's a ruby, sir, and it's only twelve hundred dollars. Ah, well, perhaps you could show me some bracelets then. Will you get some bread for me? Is there a bakery near here? Yes, you can get there in five minutes. That's good. I don't have much time. Why are you going to the bakery? To buy a birthday cake. Whose birthday is it? My daughter's. She's ten. That's nice. Will you get some bread for me? Sure. Do you want anything else? No thanks. I'll pay you when you get back. Settling down. How are you settling in? Oh, we're still in a bit of a mess, but Lisa seems to like it here. That's good. Is there a garden for her to play in? Yes, it's not very big, but we've got a small swimming pool. Have you found a school for Jerry? Yes, there's one near here. It only takes five minutes by car. That's good. So you like it there, do you, Neil? Yes, this is a very good place for my children. Part-time job. Good afternoon. May I come in? Yes, come in, please. Well, is this the job center for students? Yes. How can I help you?、Mm, I'm looking for a part-time job in the campus. Do you have anything available at the moment? Yes, of course. Before checking the job position, let's get some personal information from you first, okay? Yes. Well, what's your full name? My full name is Andy Khan. Can you spell your last name? It is K A H N Khan. Okay, Andy. Are you a registered student in our university? Yes. What's your major and faculty? I'm studying educational studies in the educational faculty. Good choice. Did you bring your student union card or your library card? I have my union card.、Uh, do you need it? Yes. I need to copy it now. Oh, here it is. Okay. And can you tell me your mobile phone number? Oh, I just lost my mobile phone yesterday. I'm sorry. May I leave my home phone? Yes, of course. It is zero one one four seven two eight one. Fine. Let's talk about the pay. What's your requirements for the pay? Oh,、uh, I think it should be about at least ten pounds per hour. Okay. I think it is not difficult to look for a position for you. Well, let me check the vacant positions on the list. Here, a position in the computer lab is available now. In the computer lab? Yes. What's the position? A cleaner. And what are the working hours? The computer lab opens at eight o'clock, and it needs to be cleaned before seven o'clock. So you should be there at six thirty in the morning. At six thirty in the morning. <laughs> I cannot get up so early. Sorry. Okay, let's check the afternoon time. There is a job working as a counselor assistant in the student union on three afternoons per week. That's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Oh, I have three afternoon seminars in those three afternoons. I'm so sorry. Well, there is a position as a cashier working from two o'clock. To five o'clock on Thursday afternoons.、Uh, what is the place? In the campus canteen. Is this okay? I'm afraid I have to attend yoga class at that time. Well, and there is a position as a teaching assistant at the International Language Centre. That sounds interesting. My major is education. Well, they need a language teaching assistant to supervise student attendance. And send out handouts in three evenings a week on Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Great. Well, could you arrange an interview for me? How about next Wednesday morning at ten o'clock? Is that the seventh of May? Right. That's fine. Ten o'clock on the seventh of May. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Opening a bank account. Good morning. What can I do for you? Good morning. I'd like to open an account. Could you give me some suggestions? 
Well, let's fill in the application form first. Okay. What's your full name? My name is Jenny Chen. Is your last name spelt C H E N? That's right. Fine, Jenny. Are you a student or do you have a job now? I should graduate this year, but I took off last year, so I am still a university student now. Fine. And your birthday? I was born on the sixth of July of nineteen eighty-seven. And your current address? I will move into a new house, so. Just tell me your new address. It's on twenty-five Woodside Avenue. Woodside. One word. Yes. Do you know the postcode? Let me think.、Mm, it is A eight three D six. A eight three. Are you sure it's not A three eight? Oh yes, it is A three eight D six. Right. Okay. Do you have a mobile phone? Yes. My number is zero nine zero three seven seven five one one five. The last one is your email. My email is skylight, nineteen eighty seven at msn dot com. Right. Did you bring the documents we need, such as passport or letter from the university? Yes. Here they are. What type of account do you want to open?、Mm, I'm not sure. Could you give me some suggestions? I see. How about the student account? It's a kind of current account. Student account. Does it have a high interest? I'm afraid not. If you want to have a high interest account, maybe a deposit account is a good choice. But you have to deposit at least five thousand pounds when you open your account. Oh, how about the annual interest of a student account? It varies from time to time. At, at present, it is three point five percent. Right. I'll take the student account. That's fine. And can I get a cash card?、Uh, certainly, I will supply you with a cash card. Great. May I apply for an overdraft? I'm afraid you cannot. The cash card doesn't have a service of overdraft. Yes, I see. How much money do you want to deposit now? I have six hundred pounds in cash and one thousand six hundred pounds in travellers' checks. So the total is two thousand two hundred pounds. Right. Fine. Please sign your name here, where I've marked an X. Okay. Thank you. And this is your receipt. Thanks. Can you tell me the opening times of the bank? The bank opens from nine a.m. to three p.m. on Monday to Saturday. And it's closed on Sunday. Oh no! On Sunday, the bank often closes at three p.m. The last thing is the statement. How often do you want to receive your statement? Once a month. Okay, monthly. How about the other things? Anything else you want to know? No, thanks for your help. Goodbye. Bye bye.